is Hope at Crafty Hope, and I am working in my small art journal, or my small junk journal, rather, to uh, do an art journal page using some grunge board. Now, this is part of my 100-day project. It's actually toward the end of my 100-day project, so y'all, we're getting close to the end. Um, the project ended in uh, July, and we are now into August, <laughs> so um, bear with me. I... Um, for my 100 day project, I was trying to use up supplies that are in my stash that um, just, you know, try to touch a variety of supplies. A lot of them I forget I have, and this grunge board is one of them. Um, it's kind of getting hard to find grunge board. You can get some on Amazon and some craft stores and stuff, but mostly like small craft stores. Um, and it's a like a chipboard product that Tim Holtz made, and I kind of dig it, but I forget to use it because I got stashed away. So this day I picked out a small heart from one of the shapes that are in there, and I'm um I painted it with just some black craft paint and a leftover that's on my desk. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it in my journal. I'm I'm using a pretty small paintbrush since. Um, that heart's kind of small, so that took a little while in the journal, and I, you see, I kind of got tired with it, so <laughs> I threw it, I've, you know, kind of was like, okay, done, put that it away. Um, so I'm doing a quick second coat of the heart, because that grunge board will soak up the paint some, so I did that super quick, and I'm going to clean up, sorry, y'all have to watch this. I did edit out some of the unnecessary stuff in here, but, um not all of it. So from there I'm just going to collage a little. I'm going to not cover the whole page so some of the black does show through. And I think I'm just using some of the bits and pieces of things that are on my desk. Um, ledger paper and book pages and dictionary paper and all kinds of stuff. But one of the funny things is when I'm just grabbing these things on my desk, I pick up a piece of dictionary paper that has a bunch there. That piece right there. I go to pick it up and as I go to put it down I realize that all the words that are on it I'm going to show you are love like love affair love sick love birds love and so since I'm using that heart I was like oh my gosh I have to include this little scrap of paper so I put it off to the side and it'll come back in in a minute so yeah um I decide to there was I think there's a small little where the perforation on the from punching it out had poked up just a little bit so I um, <laughs> cut that off and sanded a little and that exposed the edge a tiny bit so I'm going to just uh, repaint that sorry I got distracted the dog started barking and then I'm going to collage a little bit more and this little page actually has a little bit of black on it but it's a different um, it actually may be Payne's gray I can't quite tell but I threw that on there as well and uh, did I tell you I'm just using a new glue stick I don't know like I said I've lost I've completely lost my focus now I, I don't know what I've said and what I've not said <laughs> so this collage continues it's kind of super scrappy in the background because I've got these kind of weird angles and edges to all of this which um, looking at it like right here and even in the end is not super much my style but um, I kind of included this because I like some of the techniques I used to alter that little piece of grunge board. So that's more what this, this page is going to be about is that little piece of grunge board. So I decided I wanted to uh, alter that grunge board by adding some, some more old paper on it. And that's just going to be... Um, uh, it's a piece of an old time book and it's, uh, what am I using? I'm using just some Mod Podge to get that down because I knew that's, it's a good decoupage medium and it, you know, makes paper stick to all kinds of surfaces. So I decided to use that. The wet also helps a little bit to help smooth everything out. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. It doesn't take long with the Mod Podge to dry. And then I'm going to start adding a little bit of color in this page. You see, I tried to sand a little bit of the paper that's in there. That didn't do a whole lot. But then I grab a new color too, which is a watercolor crayon. And that's the purple one. Now it's kind of a, I don't know, 
kind of a pinky purple. And then I've got a Distress Crayon and Picked Raspberry. Yeah, Picked Raspberry. And then that's a Colorix Crayon and kind of just a fleshy color. So you see, I was just kind of going with some different pinks. And these are all water-soluble surfaces, water-soluble materials. So I'm using a wet paintbrush to just kind of get that color to move around and those three colors to blend a little bit on these collage papers. Now, of course, that's not going to make a huge difference on the black, but yeah. Um, I didn't even bother trying here, but I did grab some sprays. The first one is a Distress Oxide Spray in Iced Spruce, which is kind of a gray color with a little bit of blue-green to it. Um, and I kind of just wanted to use that to break up the black. And then that's a Lindy's Spray. And let me see, I think that's in Alpine Ice Rose. I'm not positive, but let's just say that is because I've got like three or four different pinks. And that was the one I think I could narrow it down to based on looking at this video since it's been like a month since I did this video. So once all of that background stuff was done and dried, I went back to my little heart and I'm going to trim off that excess paper and then sand the edges to kind of get any of the excess. I'm using a fine grit sanding block there to get most of it, but then I'm going to grab a nail file, like a, just a metal nail file to get where that dip at the top of the heart is too. You see, I'm trying to get it with the sanding block and I just can't get it. So yeah, just this nail file will get in there and and get that little bit of paper off for me so once all of that is done I'm gonna do something else I think I'm gonna come in with my uh, distress oxide in to do, do, do abandoned coral now it's not a pinky pink but it's you know it's that peachy pink that that's kind of fun it's a coral and I'm just gonna go around the edges with this little uh, makeup contour brush and just add a touch of color. I don't want to cover up all of that, that paper I added, but I want that pink to come through a tiny, tiny bit. So that's why, and I'm using this tiny, and those little contour brushes um, I got at the Dollar Tree. I'll put a link. I think you can only buy them in bulk if they're available. They've been back ordered some, but I'll put a link down at the bottom to the bulk order of them if you're interested. And, um, yeah, but they're fun. I see, I, I'm sure there's some you can buy at scrapbooking sites that are like actual brushes for, uh, paperwork, but I found these at, like I said, the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed my little chit chat stickers. These are the individual words from Tim Holtz and just found the word love because yeah, um, we're kind of going with that theme today. And since all that dictionary paper back there has all those love definitions, or love words. I don't know what you want to cause. Yeah. And then I wanted a little bit of contrast to this. So I grabbed Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide and just put it on my nonstick craft sheet. And I'm using a wet paintbrush to pick up some of that color and just make some, some marks. These are, I think I'm just making little like plus signs, like crosses on there that, um, again, because it's kind of a contrast, it stands out a bit and it's not a huge, it doesn't draw the eye a ton, but it's it's definitely fun and it shows up. The Distress Oxides, because of their opa opaqueness, do stand out a little bit more than some of the um, Distress Inks do. That's kind of why I love them. So I'm going to do this and then I think I'm going to realize I hadn't put any of that abandoned coral on the page other than on the heart. So I decided to put a little bit of it on my craft sheet as well. Yeah, here I'm coming in with that abandoned coral. And I'm going to do something similar, do some mark making with just the wet paintbrush. And I'm just going to make some little dots simply because, like I said, I didn't have that color anywhere else on the page except for the heart. So I wanted that consistency in it. So that's all I'm doing there and then I'm going to take my Uhu glue stick and glue down both that piece of dictionary paper and the heart to the page. Um, I probably could have used something, well I'm going to dry everything first, and I probably could have used uh, a heavier medium to, to glue it down but it seems like that Uhu glue stick worked just fine. So that's what I'm doing. I think that's going to be it for this page, y'all. Um, like I said, I really just kind of wanted y'all to see how I altered that little heart and how I used it. 
and just some of the techniques I threw at this page. So like I said, we're getting close to that to the end of my 100 day project and I don't know what I'm going to do after because I don't have a lot recorded and so I guess we'll see because I, I haven't really been playing in my art journal a lot. So if you've got some suggestions of what you want to see from me, let me know. Alright guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and keep on crafting on. Bye!